Hi, welcome to an Arduino tutorial from Robojax. In this video, we are going to have an introduction to this uh, MPU 6050 accelerometer and gyroscope in one chip uh, breakout for Arduino. Uh, in this video, we are going to see how we can use this and we will provide you the, the library so you can come and get everything from one source. But this is just a basic introduction. We will have uh, updates and advanced feature of this in separate videos. You can get the code for this by clicking at the link in the description below which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Let's get started with this. So what is accelerometer? Accelerometer gives you the acceleration of an object or a robot or a piece of a machine or equipment. So you install this as soon as it accelerates in any direction in X, for example, in Y or in Z. In all three dimensions, when it accelerates, it will tell you the um, acceleration in that direction. It, it gives you the acceleration meter per second. And uh, of course you can change the units to get different values. And then we have a gyroscope here. Gyroscope is used to give you the orientation. For example, in a, in a robot, in an equipment, uh, you want to know which side is up, down, left, right. So this will help uh, understand or maneuver properly with the equipment. It, it's being used in now in almost every device, including the tablets and mobile phones. But uh, for example, if you want to build those self-balancing robot that balances itself, so the gyroscope will give you mm, the proper uh, direction where it is, so which side is up, and also you can use accelerometer to see how fast it's leaning on one side or the other side and apply uh, proportional uh, force to balance it. So this is one of the most useful components in robotics and very easy to use. Of course the, it can be used in a very advanced way but this is very powerful and cost effective. So this is the module and this module is offered in different variation but the important part is this chip which is MPU6050. It has uh, accelerometer and gyroscope. The module um, is, as I mentioned, offered in many variations, and but this one has the actual chip works with 3.3 volts, and we have here a voltage regulator that you can fit in the 5 volts, and this regulator will convert it to 3.3 volts, and the circuit will work fine. And XCL, these are this is for accelerometer, and this is for gyroscope SCL and SDA. And we have the uh, dust pen ADO is the I2C or I square C address selector. This is an entrapped. And then we have VCC and ground. On this side, we have nothing. It's just double sided PCB, simple connectivity. The length of this module is 20.3 millimeter. The width is 15.5 millimeter. And depth of this one is 3.1 millimeter. Let's have a look at the uh, data sheet. This is from EventSense. These are the values that uh, of our concern. This is the operating voltage of this. As I said, we have a voltage regulator that supplies uh, voltage for us. And here are some of the application that is mentioned uh, by the manufacturer. This is these are the range that you can select plus minus 250 plus minus 500 degrees or 1000 degree or even 2000 degrees per second. And for important uh, factor for us would be um, 3.6 millimeter current. It needs only the gyroscope and the standby is 500 microampere. So if your application needs battery and so this is very important. And also for accelerometer. These are the setting values of 2G, 4, 8, and 16G plus minus. And accelerometer normal operating current is 500 microampere, so that's half milliampere. 
voltage that mentions VDD in our case this has a built-in voltage regulator so this doesn't matter for us because the voltage regulator will supply the 3.3 volts when you and the, the pin 1 is in this corner that is on the left top left corner is the pin 1 and here is based on the pin 1 this is the Y and this is the X and Z is uh, away from the page from this up towards you we are using this chip to find our orientation and here is on the actual chip and Z is away from this up from here up the module uh, usually comes with the, this uh, pen header or maybe with a 90 degree bent um, type so for in this tutorial I'm going to connect this into I'm going to solder it this way so the board will be flat I've now soldered onto the board that you are used is MPU 6050 token and this is some guy from Japan and so here are some information and some other parameters that if you want to play with so you can click and download it and after that just uh, wherever you have saved it from here go and include library and from here just go and select it and include it let me explain the wiring this VCC goes to 5 volts in Arduino here this is there the second one is the ground ground is also connected to the ground and then we have SCL and SDA this red and brown are connected to a seal and SDA of my Arduino or you can connect SDA to A4 and SCL to A5 then we have XDA and XCL this, these two are the data and clock the same as this one but this is for accelerometer I've connected uh, to here if your Arduino doesn't have that pen so you have to extend this to, you have to extend this to a breadboard so it's absolutely fine if your Arduino doesn't have those pens so you can connect let's say this one the yellow one let's see connect it to uh, pen 4 A A04 analog 4 and this is to analog 5 and now this is for SDA so you can connect the pen that is going to SDA for example here is uh, the data is a, the brown one so you can connect the brown here and, and the, the SCL the white one is connected to here so I'm gonna connect it in this line so these are all connected this line is all connected so once you connect one all of them and then the same thing for this the same thing as you can see SDA is here the red one SDA sorry SCL is SDA is brown so SDA here and SCL so it's absolutely fine because it's a bus uh, and you can connect multiple up to 127 uh, pairs and then the last pin which is interrupt interrupt connected to pin pin 2 Once, once you install the library that I provided, go to File, Example, and scroll down. You should see this token, MPU6050 token, and then open one of these. So let's just open the all data. This is the one. And the first line uh, just uh, includes this uh, header file. This is part of the library. This is a wire for I square C or ITC communication. This is creating object for this. So from this point beyond, we would use MPU 6050. And if you're using multiple type of this device, you can just rename it and put 
here two or three and then create another object another one for example if you are using two of those uh, you can create here uh, two just the name should be different and then when you are reading the values the same way just use this object and you will get the second one this is begin so you have to every line that is here with this just replace it uh, add this as well so you will have the second one functioning and working inside the set the setup we are initializing this serial monitor the wire begins the i square c and the initialization begins uh, starts for mpu 6050 and here it just sets gyroscope offset inside the loop which starts from there to here we are just checking the melts the start of this minus the timer which if it's over thousand because it just uh, display the value when it's a thousand millisecond or one second this is just counting that so we don't go very quick giving enough time to measure all these values and and these are just printing the text this is the text and these are the value mpu 60 50 get temp this is temperature acceleration x acceleration y and, uh, and acceleration at z and this is for gyro gyro x y and z gyroscope value and then acceleration angle and gyroscope angle and these are the general angle of the device if I go here and go to example this time just get the angle this is the one exactly up to here it's exactly the same except the data that we are printing in case in some application you just need, need the angle this is the angle at x this is the value and this is the angle at y and this is the angle at z very simple and you can use it in your smart car or device that is balancing i don't know whatever application you're intended to do thank you for watching this was basic introduction and i'll just provide you the code that you can use and embed this code in any application that you have and using these you can use these data for your robotic purpose for in the future i will create more videos displaying all these values on lcd uh, oled display and different types of displays in case some people need it so subscribe so you can get updates of my upcoming videos thank you